Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is rounding off numbers. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Round off digits to whole numbers. 2. Round off numbers to significant figures. And 3. Round off numbers to decimal places. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Rounding off numbers. To round off numbers simply means adjusting numbers to specific digits or units. Numbers are usually rounded off to 1. The powers of 10 or its multiples, that is, 10, hundreds, or thousands, etc. Or the nearest whole numbers. 2. Specific significant figures. And 3. Specific decimal places. Note that, rounding off, is both for large numbers, and small numbers. Let's see procedures, for rounding off numbers. The diagram on the board is a number line. Please pay attention, as we use it to explain, the procedures, for rounding off. To round off numbers. We first identify, the place value of the digit to be rounded off. We shall call this digit, target. Note that, if the digit, after the target, is greater than, or equal to 5, round up to 1, and add to the target. But, if the digit, after the target, is less than, or equal to 4, round down to 0, and leave the target the same. Keep the digits before the target the same. While the digits after the target, are replaced with 0, or ignored. Now, let's round off, to the nearest whole number. Whole numbers, are numbers, that do not include fractions, or decimal parts. Whole numbers, can be in units, tens, hundreds, thousands, or millions, etc. Let's see an example. Round off 43,267, to the nearest thousand. Solution. Following the procedure of round off, 43,267, to the nearest thousand. We identify the target, which is 3. 2 is after the target, and it is less than 5, so we round down to 0, and keep the target, the same. Other digits after the target, are then replaced with 0. The digit before the target, is kept the same. Therefore, 43,267, rounded off to the nearest thousand, gives us, 43,000. That's awesome! Now, let's round off to specific significant figure. Significant figures, are the number of digits in a value, that contribute to the accuracy of the value. Note the following about significant figures. 1. All non-zero digits, are always significant. 2. Zeros between non-zero digits, are always significant. 3. Leading zeros, are not significant. And, 4. Trailing zeros are only significant, if the number contains a decimal point. Let's see an example. Round off 4, 0, 2, 6, to 3 significant figures. Solution. Following the procedure of round off. 4, 0, 2, 6, to 3 significant figures. We identify the target, by counting 3 numbers, from left, to right, which is 2. 6 is after the target, and it is greater than 5, so we'll round up to 1, and add to the target, to make it 3. 
The digit after the target is replaced with zero. The digits before the target are kept the same. Therefore, 4, 0, 2, 6, rounded off, gives us 4, 0, 3, 0, in three significant figures. That's brilliant. Now, let's round off to specific decimal places. Decimals, or other ways, of writing fractions, and mixed numbers. Note that, when rounding off to decimal places, we start counting the digits from the decimal point, towards the right, up to the place value given. Let's see an example. Round off 2.452, to two decimal places. Solution. Following the procedure of round off, 2.452, to two decimal places. We identify the target, counting two places, from the decimal point, which is 5. 2 is after the target, and it is less than 5, so we round down to 0, and keep the target, the same. The digit after the target, is ignored. The digits before the target, are kept the same. Therefore, 2.452, rounded off to two decimal places, gives us, 2.45, in two decimal places. That's awesome! Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. How to round off to whole numbers. 2. How to round off to significant figures. And, 3. How to round off to decimal places. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.